I've never even seen a honeycomb that big before, like in, in person. person. Yeah. yeah. That's a twofer. Wow. This is the range. What caliber is an apple? Very large. Very large. It's ordinance right there. Yeah. Factor in that wind, Ross. Yeah, factor in the wind. Oh, oh shoot, way off. I want to get Sam Squanch. I, I found my range on that far Sam Squanch out there. I really put some apples in that Yeti. Oh man. Ross, we'd be dead by now. Uh, yeah, I went from I suck to I'm shooting, I'm shooting the Windigo in the backfield. So, good day for me. Red apple day on the range. Yeah. Well, I'm out of ammo. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, we ready to go? We got all the apples. We shot all the apples. Let's go make some cider, yeah? Oh, sh one at a time, boys. Too much. One at a time. Too many Sorry, apples. Now. That's a tiny. Well, here goes nothing. Give it a taste. Probably a little bit sweeter than I would normally drink a cider. Not that I drink a ton of them. Yeah, liquid gold. You know how like, like family names, like Cooper was like a guy who made barrels. Right. And Miller was like a guy who milled shit. Do you think like Preston was like a dude who pressed a ton of apples and then that was his name? Could be it. Oh yeah. This is like one of those, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a little saliva build up. Yeah, you exactly. Know? It's on the roof of your mouth, on your tongue. It coats. It's it, a yeah, heavy coat. It coats. You kind of feel it on your teeth almost. <laughs> exactly. Like, I kind of want to keep. I'm not not licking toads. Right. Oh, yeah. We might want to grease these threads. They're heating up. I do not press dry. Foodlube.com. Lube your food, it slides down your throat faster when you chew it. Fall is in the air. Woke up this morning, you know, it was like 40 degrees out, which is like, ooh, it's crisp. There's start, there's the first time there's a chill in the air. You know, it was like 80 two days ago. Did Was that what we needed? You always give me plenty, Ross. Okay. All right. <laughs> Get after it. Just chitty chatty. Just you're, chatty patty sitting you're... in the tailgate here. Yeah, so this one, we didn't heat pasteurize. We used the old potassium metabisulfite. Uh-huh, chemical pasteurization. Yeah, and that was mainly just due to the fact that we had no idea how to deal with the honeycomb. Right. So, I mean, I, I've never had a honeycomb. I'm, I'm a city boy. First of all, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're a beekeeper and you have a better way to do this, and it involves a centrifuge you can just keep your comments to yourself because I don't, <laughs> I don't have one of those and I'm not gonna buy it. So our buddy Jack gave us the honeycomb. Jack from the ranch? Jack from the old farm ranch. The old farm, uh, Blackberry. Blackberry, man. Yeah, where we brewed the- What are we brewing today, Emmett? Uh, we're brewing a robust porter. Oof. Time flies when you're drinking beer. Oh, man. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scrape this out. Okay. Into here and we're just gonna, you know, use squeeze our hands it? and squeeze, man. Okay. Jack hooked us up with it. It felt like the right thing to do. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, it's made so, out of sugar. Yeah. So we had. It's to... made to ferment. We've been quite the. We've been quite the hit with all the local bees and wasps the last They're couple very of days. Stoked. Be it ever so bumble, there's no place like home. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? I've never even seen a honeycomb that big before, like in, in person. person. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I saw this on YouTube. I saw this on YouTube as the new hold my beer, check this shit out. Yeah. You want to get a little taste of that and see like if there's wax in it? That's honey, baby. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Pure honey? No, that's, that's no wax. No wax? No wax? Uh -huh. It's pure. 
<laughs> Uncut. So Kyle sorted that out in the video, mm -hmm. and then you heated up some cider, like just some wort, cider wort, cider juice. Straight from the hip, man, running yeah. and gunning on the stove. Just We're gonna do, let's call it a light decoction with our cider. We're gonna take out about a gallon of it from our five gallon bucket, put it in a pot, heat it up on a stove. Got our probe in our cider here on the stove. We've hit our target temp of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna add that warm cider from the stove to the honey. Hot pan, chef. Hot pan, behind. Corner, chef. Hot pan. Hopefully the sugars will start to just suspend in solution with the natural sugars from the cider. And then we're gonna add the other four gallons of our cider to cool it back down so we can uh, pitch yeast in, seal it up, and begin fermentation. Oh yeah, that's thick, baby. So that is our light decoction of heated cider. I think we're gonna add it to our fermenter. It's looking great. It smells so mm -hmm. good. I don't think you can buy this at a store. I feel like this is the type of autumn you have to go out into wild nature and find. You know, it starts with sulfur on the nose. It's there. Yeah. No denying it. Yeah. It's uh, young. It's an unpleasant smell. Mm -hmm. It's the, a long-term project. The taste is a thousand times better than the old smell. The final gravity was 10 12, 6.83%. So okay. it's got a little bit got a little more, more booze. booze. This is the honey cider, and I pulled the wrong yeast out of the fridge earlier. We're gonna let it warm up for a couple hours, and then we'll pitch it. Once you've kind of got past the, the initial sulfur that like hits you it's, right out it's, of the, it's heavy. the schnoz can in here, when yeah. you like approach the glass, any other compounds are gonna just get eclipsed by that initial yeah. sulfur. sulfur. Yeah, I would say at this point in this guy's or gal's age, that's probably the most I can drink. We're, I'm gonna just, right. you know. I'm not gonna throw it out. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I'm gonna, it's in the glass. Yeah. It'd be a shame to waste it. I used to drink beers and bars that I put my cigarette out in. Oh, good. Ooh, ashtray shots. If you're making cider, Get a couple of yeasts. Diversify your microbiology because some of it's gonna be good now and some of it's not. Don't ferment yourself into a corner. Don't just shoot your shot with one yeast, okay? Get a couple of, couple of yeasts. Yeasties. Get a couple of strains. Get some yeasties. Yeasties. What's the plural? <laughs> Yesty. Yes. Yeah, uh, yestums. Yesums. I agree with that. Mm-hmm.